Are you a Pixel Watch 3, Pixel Watch 2 owner? If so, this video is for you. Wear OS 6 is now here and we're gonna jump into upgrading and see what is new in Wear OS 6. So let's get right to it. Okay, for those of you that don't know, Wear OS 6 has been released by Google with the Pixel Watch 4, and it's now rolling out to the Pixel Watch 3. This is the 45 millimeter and the Pixel Watch 2. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the Material 3 Expressive. So as you'll see in this video, they have completely redesigned the UI to be more fluid and to use up the maximum amount of space on the dial to provide you with details. So let's go ahead and just take a look. So this is just the general watch face here. And one of the first things with Expressive that you'll notice is the quick settings, the dial, the buttons have been a little bit redesigned. You can also see with the animations that it really like falls off of the screen, which is really beautiful on the Pixel Watch 4 now having both a domed under display and a domed screen on the top. But you do get some of that feel on the Pixel Watch 3 here. If we swipe over, you'll see that they've completely redesigned all of the widgets or the tiles that are on the Pixel Watch 3 here. So everything has been redesigned to provide more information on the display and to use up most of the screen. So as you can see, as you swipe through here, they've completely redesigned all of the UIs. The new Pixel weather widget is here. So if we go ahead and click on the weather, you can see that everything has just been really redesigned to flow with that Material 3 Express. So let's just go ahead and swipe through some of these other ones. So we've got our contacts page. This is the Google Maps. We've got Gemini, so you can have quick settings for Gemini, so quick phrases here. So I've got a couple here, and then we go back to the screen there. So you can see that with the redesign that it really complements this pebble style display. I really enjoy that. The applications, let's go ahead and jump into the applications, and you'll see that the applications page has been redesigned as well. And you just have that really nice falling off the display as the icons scroll up or down, they get smaller and just kind of spill off of the screen. You do still have the list view option, and you can see that there is a still a little bit of that animation there. I really do like the grid view better. I think that that looks much better, especially when you're scrolling through those applications. We also have a redesign. If we go ahead and click on our quick settings, you can click on that top button there. You have your recent apps. We can also press and hold down and you can see that we have Gemini is the default assistant on the Pixel Watch 3 now instead of the Google Assistant, which I believe is much better than the previous Google Assistant, which we all loved, but Gemini just does so much more right on your wrist. One of the really cool new designs that they brought with Wear OS 6 is the dynamic theming from your wallpaper. So what I mean by that is if you go ahead and select a watch face, so let's go ahead and let me go ahead and unlock this real quick. If you go ahead and press and hold down and you can go ahead and select the watch face you want. So let's just go ahead and edit. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the color. So right now we've got different colors here. So what, we're, what I'm talking about is when you go ahead and change your watch face, it's gonna use a dynamic theme. So throughout all of your tiles and everything, it will use the colors that you select from your watch face. And let me show you here. So we're gonna select sunflower, we'll do this for the video, and you can see it's applying theme. And so now what's gonna happen is as you swipe through, you can see that all of your tiles are now using the colors from your watch face. So it makes it super nice. It's very cohesive with the Material 3 Expressive. And 
it's just very fluid and it makes it look like a whole package and there's not really a disconnect there. So I really like that update. That is the dynamic theming, which once again, it uses the color of the watch face. So any color that you choose, it will apply that dynamic theme throughout the, all of the tiles on the watch. So one question you're probably asking is, how do I get this update on my Pixel 3, Pixel 2 watch? So all you need to do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna swipe down so we're gonna go ahead and swipe down. We'll swipe down. We're gonna go ahead and select our settings or the gear icon. And then you're gonna go ahead and scroll down until you get to system. And then you'll select system updates. And once you get to this screen, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna tap on this screen. And if there is the update available, it will actually go ahead and pull it. If you are doing this update, I recommend that you charge your watch to at least 50%. It needs to be on the charger. The watch will tell you that to do the update and then it will go ahead and update your watch. So you can see this is Android version 16 and it does have the September 5th, 2025 security patch. So that's all you'll need to do to update depending on the size of the file and, and your connection. Times will vary on downloading, but that's all you need to do once you've downloaded it you'll be able to access these new features that have been added with Wear OS 6. So previously in the video, I mentioned the icons and the waterfall effect that you see when you're scrolling on this watch. You can see here as you scroll down, you just kind of get that waterfall effect with that scrolling. You also notice in the notifications that they are providing much more detail. You can simply click on those and it will show you a little bit more detail and takes up more of the screen real estate instead of leaving a lot of blank space. So that's really nice to see. Once again, with the icons you do, if you just scroll through, let's go ahead and just jump into the Fitbit. You'll see as I scroll how it just spills right off of the screen. And that's kind of the waterfall effect, or at least what I'm calling the waterfall effect. And I think that's really nice with this design and it makes it feel much more premium with this smartwatch. If you're enjoying this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps out the channel. Uh, we are still a fairly new channel and are looking to expand more and more content bring you more Pixel and Android content as well. So next up, let's talk about pass keys. So with Wear OS 6, you can now do pass keys on your watch that will unlock certain applications on your phone. Okay, let's talk about some of the new animations that you'll see on the latest update with Wear OS 6. So one of the cool ones that I really, really like is the music application. So if we go in here, we'll go into our YouTube music. And so you can see here with the new music widget that you have some new redesign. You can see that we've got kind of this squiggly line around the play and the pause button. You can still switch your tracks as normal. The other thing that you'll see here is that you have some new options. So if we click on this music, you can actually see that'll show you what's playing. If you click on the three dots here, you now have your like, you have your repeat, you have your shuffle, you can see what's up next. So these are some new animations and additions that has been added with Wear OS 6. So as you can see, as it switched, it changed the coloring, which is kind of cool there. You can use your volume control just like you normally would, and that will control it on your phone as well. The other animations that are pretty slick on here is just when you're swiping through, it's just really fluid. You can see that there's no lag. It's just buttery smooth in my opinion. I haven't had any stutters, anything like that with the new update. So if you haven't gotten the update yet, it is rolling out to the Pixel Watch 3, Pixel Watch 2. So just keep an eye on that. Follow the instructions in the video that I showed earlier and you'll be able to update and get the latest on your Pixel Watch 3. If you're enjoying the video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Click the bell notification so you're updated when new videos get uploaded. As always, I appreciate you watching and we'll catch you in our next video.